In today's book review, we will take a closer look at Ken Grimwood's 311 page long novel Replay. This standalone book was published in the year 1986 and can be considered to be on the hard side of the sci fi Mo scale. Even though its core premise, the repetition of the main character's life, who also retains his prior memories, is never really explained and certainly can only be categorized as fantastical. But otherwise, the story of Replay relies on the contemporary technology of the time it was written in. The world building is rather restrained, which is no surprise since it mostly takes place in the United States of the 60s to the 80s without the need to establish a vast fictional universe. In contrast, Replay definitely scores high in terms of originality and novelty, as the type of time loops that are the central plot point have become their own trope and have been adapted in one form or another in other works of fiction, as we will discuss in more detail later. The number of characters is comparatively small, with only a couple of well-developed and fleshed out main characters that actually experience an arc. The side characters remain rather bland and one-dimensional though. Apart from making it into several quote-unquote must-read lists, Replay was nominated for the Arthur C. Clarke Award and won the World Fantasy Award, both in the year 1988. In terms of popular reception, Replay scores a respectable combined rating of 4.3 out of 5 stars, based on thousands of reviews from Goodreads, Library Thing and Amazon. There have been discussions about a film adaptation of Replay for several years now. For instance, in 2010, it was reported that a film version starring Ben Affleck was being planned. A year later, after Affleck left the project, Robert Zemeckis was set to direct the film, who in turn was set to be replaced as director by Greg Berlanti. However, there are currently no indications of any further developments. While such a direct movie adaptation of Replay seems to be stuck in production hell, other projects that took the main premise of the novel have been more successful and culturally influential in the last decades. There are numerous works that rely on the core concepts of Replay, most notably the 1993 movie Groundhog Day starring Bill Murray, which itself spawned a slew of knockoffs, or Hiroshi Sakurazaka's 2004 light novel All You Need Is Kill, which in turn was the basis for the 2014 movie Edge of Tomorrow, starring Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt. The story of Replay kicks off when 43-year-old Jeff Winston, who is trapped in a tepid marriage and a dead-end job, suddenly dies of a heart attack. However, instead of any form of afterlife or eternal darkness awaiting, Jeff Winston wakes up again in his 18-year-old body on the day of his college graduation. He soon discovers that he has the ability to relive his life over and over again, each time with the knowledge of the events of his previous lives, even though he never makes it past his mid-40s, where usually another heart attack will reset everything again. As he jumps from one life to the next, he becomes more and more obsessed with changing the past, correcting his mistakes and trying to break the cycle. During the story, Jeff grapples with questions of identity, morality, the meaning of existence and the idea of fate versus free will. One of the most compelling plot points of Replay is the way it explores the butterfly effect showing how small changes in the past can have far-reaching consequences in the present. In one loop, for example, Jeff tries to save as many people as possible by openly warning the public of several major accidents and disasters. But while this behavior was well-intentioned, it made everything far worse in the end. Another noteworthy aspect of Replay is its character development. Jeff is a complex and well-rounded protagonist and the novel does an excellent job of exploring the consequences of his time-traveling abilities. For instance, the dire psychological and ethical implications of having children within the time loop, since they will be lost to non-existence after the next reset. 
Replay also examines how a more matured character, such as Jeff after the resets, will not fit well into the social groups of his previous first life. Going back to high school or university with the current knowledge and memories might sound fun at first, but would probably get quite boring and tedious if you think about it a bit longer. Overall, Replay is a thought-provoking and intellectually stimulating novel that will leave you pondering the nature of time, the role of free will in our lives and the consequences of past actions, long after having finished. Furthermore, Replay is a cult classic by any stretch of the imagination, as its main premise has been adapted in a significant number of other books, graphic novels, movies and television episodes of various franchises in one way or another. It is indeed a bitter irony that Ken Grimwood actually planned to publish a sequel to Replay before dying himself of a heart attack in 2003 at the age of 59. Ultimately, Replay is one of those books that fans of science fiction and anyone interested in exploring the deeper questions of life and existence can safely pick up. If you liked this video, you may also enjoy the other reviews and content on my channel. Feel free to leave a comment if you want to discuss the novels or if you want to suggest other books that I should review in the future. Please consider upvoting and subscribing, it is much appreciated. Thank you for watching and until next time.